you can see that it's working just fine. Now, you'll notice that there's a lot of different vision commands here. However, if you try to use some of them, for example, for example, pick up box, and you ran them, errors would pop up. This is because you haven't done the camera robot position calibration yet. That's the next step. This calibration is important because it tells your camera and your robot their relative positions. That way, if the camera sees an object, the robot will know where that object is in its own coordinate space. So, click Calibrate, then click Calibrate Camera Robot Position. Now this tutorial is very in-depth, so I'll be skipping through a little bit. Now click Next, make sure your camera is over your robot and the robot is in the center of the camera's view. Now put the suction cup of the robot on the ground. Press Next and confirm that it is in fact on the ground. This is the, next, this is the important part. So for picking up objects, you need to have some sort of marker on top of the robot's camera view. So this could be anything. For example, I took a note card, I folded it, and then I drew all over it with Sharpie. Okay? So you'll want to place this note card on the robot head, like so, and tape it onto the servo. The most important part of this is that there is a lot of detail on that marker. Now line up the marker with the horizontal axis, or the vertical axis, and select it with your mouse. Now you want to select a broader box so that the center of the box is on the center of the end effector of the robot. Try moving your robot around to make sure that the tracking is good. Let's press next. Now this is the final step. This will be an automatic calibration, so just press start calibration. Make sure you've successfully completed the calibration before continuing.